How's it going everyone? This is Dixon of the Ultimate Game Room logging on and welcome to Ultimate Game Room's radio cam or should I say radio show or whatever. I'm just trying to make it more convincing. Anyway, I'm here to talk about the follow-up from my first impression video I did a few days ago on the Atari 2600 Plus. There's a little bit more I want to talk about here. I already gave out all the details to that I already explained uh, that went over w when I uh, played the, the Atari 2600 Plus console, as well as the Retron 77 console, which will bring a little bit of that up too. First of all, during my intro and outro, I, I, you've seen the girl standing in the background, that's my doll, Tiffany, and she says hello too. And now, I want to talk about, first things first, I want to talk about the game cartridges I have. The originals that I've gotten from the bundle about five years ago, shortly before I got in uh, the Retron 77 clone console. I can tell you one thing, all the majority of the cartridges do work. Even though I failed to clean them before uh, I test them on the Atari, I mean, the Retron 77, because I didn't really know much about cleaning them because you know why? I didn't know how to get around cleaning cartridges like these. I didn't think it would be you no know, big deal since they since the contact points were more protected. I guess I was a dumbass not, not realizing that. Of course they needed cleaning because these cartridges are about 40 years old or more. But shortly before I got in the Atari 2600 plus console, I actually decided to get into cleaning these cartridges myself before I test before I test the cartridges on that system as well as also getting the Retron 77 out for warm up before I got into 2600 plus console I decided to uh I'll show you really quick all these things I got up from uh one up card now, This thing here is a cartridge key to open an Atari 2600 uh, game. You can stick them here. You stick them into these holes and then there we go. It opens. So that way you can get your cleaning solution stuff to clean them. Now, to be on the level, this key, I got this key kind of broken, but you can, there's still many tricks to uh, getting around to using it, so it's not a huge deal. Good tool to come in handy, regardless. Now, these uh, cleaning devices, I already have a few of them for other cartridge consoles as well, but this one, these ones are for the Atari 2600. See, one side says, fluid and one side says dry the one side is to use fluid on and the one side is to dry them on well, of course you have to put this fluid stuff this uh fluid on to one side and then clean the cartridge contact points from the inside from both sides and then use the dry one to clean from both sides and i already have a few other big i have a few bigger ones for the future for the future consoles like the nes snes and genesis and i also got one more thing too that's from one i right, let me get that in there really quick i want to make sure it's all together this atari this uh console cleaner this cleans out uh the cartridge input on the, the Atari 2600. And I actually only used this on the Retron 77 because uh, I used a, used a few of the cartridges that before I, uh, without cleaning them. I didn't think it, it wasn't that much important to clean it out though. I didn't think I'd get too dirty because I didn't use it, but I just wanted to be safe. So it's so good to have something on hand. I doubt I need it for the uh, 
for the piece of cutter plus that's already cleaned the cartridges as much as I can though before I put them in there and I have a few extra copies as well too that came in the bundle let's see now the first one I gotten was years ago and I didn't even have an Atari and this is the first horror game I did, except I did it off the emulator, but I just like to have a cartridge in hand just to start off my collection in the future. That's the Haunted House game. And the bundle I got came with another Haunted House. Came with another copy of Haunted House. What else I got here? I also, ha I also came with two copies of Missile Command. Those are the only two uh, extra copies I have of that game but from there there's also video pinball yours revenge pac-man berserk centipede yeah some of these cartridges are, are kind of loose though but they still didn't work though. Blackjack. Warlords. And Battle Zone. Let me set these down really quick and I'll. Talk a little bit more, get a little bit more depth with some of these cartridges. Pretty much out of all the cartridges, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I got twelve cartridges. Well, actually, ten games, just extra copies of one of uh, two games. So, twelve cartridges, but ten games. Now here's one thing I'm disappointed about is my copy of Battlezone for some reason doesn't work on any of the systems. This is one of my favorite games too. Yes, and I even cleaned it out and I tested on both systems. It doesn't work. And I even checked the compatibility list and it runs and it supposedly does run, but it just it doesn't like my copy somehow. However, I do play it off the Play the ROM off the Retron 77. That's the footage I was showing in my video. Came from the the emulator that I inst that installed on my uh, micro SD card for the Retron 77. Yeah, that was a bummer. You know what else is a bummer too? Atari no longer has the rights for Battlezone. I mean, they did. Uh, they did have that Atari 2600 game and the arcade port on the anthology, but but from the future uh, compilations from Atari, they no longer have it on the compilation because it's no longer because they don't they no longer own the rights. Rebellion does, which they did pretty good. Uh, future Battlezone games like Battlezone 98 and remastered versions of Battlezone 98 Redux and plus a re-release of uh, Battlezone for VR. Which is, which are all pretty cool games and all. I just wish to, uh, I just hope, uh, I just hope they get, a, hope Atari gets around to uh, getting permission from Rebellion to re release the Atari 2600 and the arcade ports of Battlezone on the 50th anniversary collection as DLC updates. Now let's talk about the two multi carts that came with. One of them came with the Atari 2600 system and plus system, and one the other one came with the paddle uh, bundle. This one, the 10 and 1 games, which features adventure, combat, dodge em, haunted house, maze craze, missile command, real sports volleyball, surround, video pinball, and yards revenge. So I have four cartridges that are on this compilation. These are the switches to operate the certain game. They'll tell you on the front of the box and the cartridge label. 
And here's the four in one that came with the paddles. Breakout, Canyon Bomber, Night Driver, and Video Olympics. This one had four games on it. You can also get these individually too from Atari website, I believe. And these are what they look like here. And look at this. They actually decided to do away with those ridiculous uh, covers for the contact points. I'm pretty sure that copy of Berserk, I'm going to, it's going to have the same thing too, like these two. It's pretty awesome that they come with multi, multi card, multi uh, games and multi cards, Atari games in one. Of course, majority of these games you can actually play off the. Practically all of me can play off the Atari compilations as well, I say. Oh, but it's also nice to have something that's more nostalgia on a modern plat on a modern uh, platform. You know what I mean? <sighs> and. Something I did not really say about the 2600 controllers is that the controller cables are not long. Of course, you plug them into the back of the console, but pretty much you can't pull them back far back, though. Of course, nowadays there's wireless controllers. I'm sure there's wireless controllers for the Atari 2600 as well, too, the Bluetooth ones. And there's also extension cords, by the way. And these actually use the same inputs, uh, connector inputs as the Sega Genesis controllers as well. So that makes it easier. Here's all, here's the Retron 77 controller, one of them. The cords on this thing is actually longer. So at least longer and, and it plugs in the front. Of course, this one, these ones also have extra buttons. I don't know what's the extra button for, but maybe somebody's more used to having a button on the right side of the joystick instead of the left side, which was common for Atari 2600 back in the day, but whatever. Yeah, I will be getting around to, I'm going to be getting around to get doing reviews on the Atari 2600 games as well before I put it up. Because I will be putting it up soon, though, just to, just to give it a rest or something. But however, but so far, I'm enjoying the Atari 2600 Plus system. I'm still enjoying the shit out of the Retro 77. I mean, with the, emulation, with the emulator on that thing. Play the games that I can't even get around to getting because the majority, half of the library is pretty rare to get, and and also half of them I can also play off the Atari 58th anniversary uh, collection on Steam or any platform, current platform they have it on. And if I do get around to getting a physical copy for the Switch of the 50th anniversary edition. I'll keep it all posted on that. that I, I like to get a physical copy of that as well, too. And what else? I'm just mumbling everywhere. Out of breath and half exhausted. I'm kind of living in the old age, old wood age, you know. Still haven't opened my box of the other controller yet. I didn't need to. Good to have next one on hand, just in case. Well, anyway, that's pretty much all I got to say. Thank you all very much for watching. This is Dixon of the Ultimate Gamer. I'm logging off.